quote. And we have team coverage of today's SCOTUS ruling from here at home and across the country. I want to begin though in Washington County with Robert Sir. Paige and Brandon, good evening to you. Well over 100 people filled the Fayetteville Square this evening from all walks of life, all for one common cause, to voice their displeasure with Roe v. Wade being overturned. When abortion rights are under attack, what do we do? Stand up, fight back! In the shadow of the World Peace Fountain, frustration and shock filled the nearly 100 degree air Friday evening in Fayetteville from people outraged by the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe versus Wade. It's remarkable that men feel that they can take away this right. <laughs> We've had this right for 50, almost 50 years. Many voiced their displeasure not only with the Supreme Court, but also with state government that was quick to ban most abortions across the state just a few hours after the high court made their ruling, leaving many in shock. Oh my gosh, how did this happen? Like, it's just kind of shocking. It's crazy. I just honestly shocked. These are about our rights. We can't go backwards. If you want to modify them, that's fine, but we can't go backwards. While the protests featured a majority of women, a fair amount of men also came to show their support, like Justin Struvant. We want to show that even in those Arkansas, we believe in abortion rights, we believe that abortion is health care, and that women deserve the right to choose what they do in their family, and that the government should not be in, uh, regulate people's bodies of any kind. And guys, all the people that we talked with, the theme was pretty simple. They all said it basically different ways, that they want the government to stay out of their personal business. At the Fayetteville Square, Robert Sir, 4029 News.